Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent. This is season seven with your host and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This podcast show is especially about kids like you. My dear Muslim kid listeners, you are incredibly special to me because if you think about it, I am a part of your imagination. While I'm telling the story, you are imagining it. Now that's really special. Let's get started. Mm, where's that imagination button that I have to push to start this episode? Oh, there it is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's story is called Sophia's Slime. Mama searched for her phone frantically. Oh, it was just right here. The doctor's office is going to call any minute now. Kids, when I am on the phone, I don't want anyone to interrupt me, okay? Sophia, please be sure not to make a mess while making your slime. Isla, I love that you took out your costumes to wear and play with. Just make sure that you're playing in a different room, away from Ibrahim. He has 15 minutes left on his video game, so leave him to do that. Mama gave the girls clear instructions and continued to search for her phone. Just then, the girls heard the phone ring loudly. Mama placed her finger on her lips to signal the girls to continue playing quietly while she took this very important phone call. Sophia went back to her slime station and smiled at all the combinations of slime that she could make. She was ready to squeeze her different food coloring bottles into the slime mixture. Sophia picked up a container filled with glitter and sparkles. She popped open the lid to sprinkle the glitter into the mixture. Sophia loved this step of the slime making process. She stared at the colors dissolving into the gooey slime while the little pieces of glitter stuck firmly to the mixture. She reached for a popsicle stick to stir her slime together. Isla walked over to her sister's slime and commented, Oh, you chose pink glitter. I love this color. It matches my princess outfit. Isla said proudly as she twirled in her favorite costume. Isla had many costumes that she played dress up with, but this particular one was her favorite because it was the newest one and it was in her favorite color pink. Sophia smiled at her little sister as she continued stirring the slime mixture. Sophia wanted to test out the gooey mixture to see if it had the perfect feel. She took her fingers to poke and squish it. She took her entire hand now to smush and squeeze it. It made some very funny noises. Isla peered into the slime bowl as her sister giggled. <laughs> Sophia nudged the bowl near Isla and asked, Do you want to turn to mix it? It's so, so cold. It feels so funny. Try it, Isla. Isla took a step back from Sophia, shaking her head no. No way! Sophia didn't hear her sister over all the funny noises that she was making while having fun. She got up with a handful of slime in her palms and insisted. Isla, hold this. It's so cold and gooey. Give me your hands. Isla was getting annoyed. I don't want my hands to get sticky. Then my costume will get dirty. Isla, just try it. I promise it feels so funny. Just give me your hand and I promise you'll think it's so cool. Isla was feeling frustrated. No, Sophia. Stop forcing me. Isla pushed her sister's hand away from her. The slime jiggled and wobbled unsteadily. Sophia tried to keep a firm hold of the slime, but she struggled to balance it in her hands. 
The slime continued to glide in her hands until it just slipped out of Sophia's hands and onto Isla's new costume. The girls stood frozen as the slime trickled down Isla's dress in slow motion. Mama! Sophia ruined my dress! Mama! Isla was furious. She immediately went storming to the other room to find Mama. In Isla's determined, angry state, she bumped into her brother Ibrahim, who was just finishing up his video game. Ibrahim felt Isla crash into him, and immediately Ibrahim pushed his sister back. Ibrahim's voice matched his sister's angry voice too. Hey, I was playing here. Why'd you knock me over? I wasn't even bothering anyone until you knocked me over. I didn't do it on purpose. You pushed me on purpose, though. Isla called for Mama once more. She was hoping Mama could sort this out for them. Mama! Because now, each and every kid in the living room was angry. Isla, you spilled the slime out of my hands. Now it's all stuck to the carpet. You made the mess in the other room. Sophia, you made a mess on my dress. Mama could hear the commotion and yelling in the other room. She was almost done with her conversation with the doctor when Ibrahim tugged on her shirt, interrupting. Mama put up her finger to her lips to try to signal to Ibrahim to keep his voice low because she was on the phone. But just then, the girls found her too. They entered the room. No, your no, no, your your you did. Mama rushed no, you through her did. phone call. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for the information. Uh, I'll be sure to log into my account to read up on it further. Hey, I'm so sorry, but I have to go. My kids are being a bit... Mama was not able to finish her sentence properly. She felt very rushed. She looked to the kids who were all having a very hard time. She was just about to shout, but she decided to pause instead. Mama took a deep breath in and sat down on the floor. <sighs> she pulled Isla to her lap. Mama smoothed her costume over and scratched off the slime that was clinging to her dress. She hugged Ibrahim and whispered, <sighs> You can have another five minutes of time because you were interrupted by your sisters. Mama then addressed Sophia, who was patiently waiting for her turn. Sophia, did you get slime on the carpet? Sophia nodded yes, quietly, as she stared at her hands that were sticky from the slime earlier. Mama sighed. <sighs> okay, I'll help you clean it up, but first I need to put Isla's dress in the washing machine. Sophia and Isla noticed that Mama was tired. She slowly got up off the floor to help the girls. Isla spoke up. Mama, are you okay? Mama kept quiet for a moment longer. I really would have liked to see all of you guys solving these problems with each other in a different way than just yelling at each other and then yelling for me too. You all are siblings. You three are each other's family. It's important to know how to talk to one another, even when you're feeling angry. The anger will come and go, but hurt feelings from screaming at one another will stay. Ibrahim paused when hearing that. The girls looked at each other too, exchanging glances to one another. Mama continued, Alhamdulillah, we have a big family. Alhamdulillah for having friends for life. Your siblings are your first friends. Your best friends. It's a blessing to have one another. I want you all to pause when feeling angry. Just pause. Don't do anything. Don't say anything to each other. Just pause. Wait for a moment or two and in your heart, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Nirajim. Remember Allah when these strong feelings come because that is what the Prophet ﷺ taught us. He said, if a man gets angry and says, A'udhu Billahi min shaytan nirajim, I seek refuge with Allah from shaytan, the cursed one. 
Then his anger will go away. The kids looked to one another and muttered this to themselves quietly. <laughs> Mama smiled, knowing that Sophia, Ayla, and Ibrahim were at least trying. Mama walked to the kitchen to get some carpet cleaning supplies. She followed the girls to the living room where the slime was smeared and smushed into the carpet. Ibrahim decided to put his video game time on pause. He followed his sisters and his mom to the other room to join them on the cleaning. Ibrahim plucked and peeled some of the slime out of the carpet, chuckling. Oh, it's so sticky and cold. Sophia smiled. I can make a yellow colored one for you, Ibrahim. Maybe if Mama is okay with that after we clean all this up. Mama interrupted. I am okay with it. I'm always okay with you all doing nice things for each other and playing with one another. Seeing you all spend time with each other makes me so happy. I just want you three to learn how to speak to each other and solve your problems without all the anger. Isla and Ibrahim gave Mama a tight hug from the side. Okay, Mama, we're sorry. Sophia joined in on the hug as well. She quietly thought to herself, Alhamdulillah, Mama didn't get too upset about all the slime in the carpet. This made Sophia think for a minute. She asked Mama, Mama, did you pause earlier when you had to hang up the phone when you were on a call with the doctor? Did you also say A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem in your heart when you were mad at us? Mama nodded. Sophia hugged her mama a little tighter. Sophia felt grateful that mama practiced holding back her anger with them too. Thank you for listening to today's story by Mrs. Hashmi. This episode was sponsored by Sister Adiba for her three kids, Sophia, Isla, and Ibrahim. I hope you enjoyed this story. To my dear kid listeners, I'm going to be doing a virtual event on Sunday, October 30th at 3 p.m. Central Time. It's going to be on the topic of Palestine. All proceeds from this event will be dedicated to humanitarian aid for those in Palestine. So please do join me for a virtual event where we will have a read aloud on the book You Are the Color by author Rifq Ibad. The link to this virtual event will be in the description box of this episode. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.